Hello Scorpio, welcome to your November video. This video is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Scorpio. Happy birthday to all Scorpios out there. I hope you're having a lovely birthday, taking this time out for you, celebrating you and your journey, and looking forward to the year to come and all the things that you basically want to manifest and bring into your reality in your life. So on the 4th of November, we're going to have Mercury being direct in your 12th house joining with Venus, also in your 12th house, which will move on the 22nd of November. So basically, with Mercury now in your 12th house, it's all about your long-term ideas, all the things that you've been thinking of for a long time and wanting to implement. Now you have that energy mentally to basically focus. It is in your 12th house, so it's a bit still stuff that you subconsciously are thinking of, but it's there. And you basically have the energy now to focus, implement, go for what you're thinking. You know, it's a much better place. No more miscommunication with our Mercury retrograde that we had in October. A lot of miscommunication, mishaps, missing of appointments. Now you have that energy mentally. Right. Now with the Venus in your 12th, yeah, you want to basically create some time for yourself, time alone thinking about your relationships, your passions, the things that you love, what is it that you want. But in the 12th house, it's more still contemplation as well. In 12th house is all about our long-term thoughts, our long-term relationships. What changes do we want to make? What do we want to release and let go of so we can move forward in a better way when it comes to our relationships as well, but also spending quite a bit of time alone, <laughs> you know, thinking about these things and basically really taking care of your emotional needs. The 12th house is a lot about those emotional needs that we need to take care of within ourselves so that we can have enough to give to everyone else. Now on the 11th, Mercury moves into your first house. Now this is excellent because now you have, again, that mental aptitude and focused. Focus, determination, you can really implement ideas. You can really think about the things that you desire. You can really think about all the things that you wanted to create and want to do and you have the energy to now do it. It's more like you can just implement everything a lot smoother in the first house. It's about self, all the ideas relating to you personally and communicating your wants and needs to those around you. It's an excellent place for Mercury in the first house where you're really thinking about yourself and what are these things that are inside of you that you want to let out into the world. Now, on the 14th, Mars will be direct in your sixth house. Mars was in retrograde from the 9th of September and this was in the sixth house, so you could have felt physically drained, physically exhausted and basically affecting your health. So now you can really look after your health, you know, exercise, dieting, Whatever it is you want to do, maybe not dieting, but more of a balanced diet and thinking of your diet and what things that basically you want to cut out of, you know, that's interfering with your health and also bringing it to a place of where you're feeling more exhausted. You want to cut those things out and really implement it. The sixth house is also of health and routine. So health, routine and work. This is more so you can work more efficiently and you'll have that energy to take care of the things you need to work on as well as your health and you'll readjust your routine so that you can be more efficient in all that you want to create. Mars is your ruler. So you're very focused here. There's a lot of focused energy, a lot of more energy to get you going so you can move along in the direction that you want to go. Then on the 15th, we have a super new moon happening in your first house of Scorpio. <laughs> And then on the 22nd, Venus will be also moving into your first house. So now with the super new moon, it's again about you. What do you want? What do you want to create? What do you want to do? What is really that you've been thinking about? And especially with all these retrogrades, you know, you've been releasing, letting go of certain things. Now you can really allow for new beginnings, allow for things to flourish, allow for some new zest, some new passion to come into your life. You have the clarity during the retrograde to see things more, you know, with that Scorpio eye, what's hidden, seeing the truth, seeing things a bit more deeper. But with this new moon, it takes you a lot deeper into yourself so that you can create the things that you want. And with Venus on the 22nd, basically moving into your first house, yeah, you just more 
open in your relationships. And you're not only open in your relationships, but it's a beautiful energy when it comes to your passions, your desires, all of these things, you become more magnetic, people are drawn to you, you're at the right place, right time, kind of energy, opportunities coming to you. It's a blessed time with that Venus energy also moving there into your first house. Now on the 22nd, we have the sun moving into your second house. And then towards the end of the month, we're going to be having that lunar eclipse happening in your eighth house. The second house, so with the sun moving into your second house on the 22nd, this is all about finance. Money matters. What do you want to create? You actually can even see money coming in. Financial stability, creating that stability. It's a beautiful time for all of that. And then also with the eclipse happening in your eighth house, again, it's about that money and partnering up with the right people. It's a lunar eclipse happening towards the end of the month, the end of November. So basically here, yeah, it's about tying things up. What partnerships do you want to be in? What partnerships you don't want to be in? Because with that sun, right on the 22nd it's about your money so you're really focusing now on implementing all the ideas and all the opportunities that were coming to you so you can recreate the financial abundance that you want to see in your life also with that eighth house it's about becoming more open with people and also seeing things a lot more clearly you know the eighth house is your house so it's basically at the end of the month really looking at your intimacy with others being more open sharing a bit more <laughs> it's not normally a scorpio thing to do but here you find that energy to be more open a bit more direct in what you want out of your partnerships your relationships and also what financial ideas that you have that you can really bring to fruition now so it's a very blessed time wishing you a lovely november and thank you all for watching